hello everyone welcome back this is Ajay and in this particular tutorial we are going to see how to use row span and call span together this is the continuation tutorial of my previous one where we just got introduced to row span and call span attributes and using them we saw how to merge the columns and the rows so this is just a continuation of the previous tutorial in this particular tutorial we are going to see some more examples now if you see the table in front of you it is the same table that we had that is the seven rows and five columns but if you see that the first row the first two columns are merged over here similarly if you see over here that is the row five six seven is merged for the column five so how to do this that we are going to see okay and then we are going to take some more interesting examples like how to use row span and call span together in one tag for example if i have to merge completely that is the third row and third column and i have to make this that is the three columns third fourth and fifth and uh, three third and fourth column now there are total six columns over here okay so third and fourth column i will merge and third fourth and fifth row I will merge so it will look like something like this okay so I want to want this to get merged completely okay so this is the gray part that's the merge part so third and fourth column is merged and third fourth and fifth row has been merged now how to achieve such kind of uh, output that is what we're going to see in this particular tutorial maybe in future during the development you may require uh, such a table where uh, you know we need to merge the rows and columns of uh, together in one so such a requirement you may come up in future so we're going to see that in this particular tutorial so let us go back to the previous one first we will achieve this output okay so total there are five columns and seven rows now let's start the coding okay now you can see that this is a table this is the same table and there are seven rows and five columns so this is the first tr tag that is the first row and inside that we have five TD tags that is the columns so this is the first one that's the second and this is the third fourth and sixth and seventh okay so let me just save this and let me just minimize and we will see the output so this is the output in front of you that's the web page so you can see the table in front of you there there are total five columns and seven rows and this is the output in front of you now let us merge these two okay so if i have to merge these two columns of the first row so i have to go to the first tr tag and to the first column right so let us go to the first row so this is the table and this is the first tr tag and this is the first td tag and simply i will use call span is equal to two now since i am merging these two columns i need to one remove one extra td tag why is because when this will get merged so this is one column so one two three and four i should have only four td tags in the first tr tag and you can see over here this is the first td tag th second third and fourth and that's it okay let me just save this and let me just also give a color that is bg color is equal to gray okay now i will save this and uh, you can see the output over here so this is got merged isn't it now let us merge these three rows of the fifth column so i have to go to the third row not the third sorry it is uh, that's the fifth row okay and in the fifth row i have to go to the last td tag okay to the last td tag of the fifth row understand it okay so let's go to the fifth row so this is the first row that's the first tr tag second this is the third this is the fourth and here is the fifth tr tag in the fifth tr tag i have to go to the last column that's, that's the last td tag simply i will say row span is equal to three right and i will simply save this okay we will have some unusual output like this one okay now this got merged but then these are the extra 
columns that we have for the uh, sixth and seventh row. So we need to remove this TD tag from the second last and the last uh, row. So let us go to the sixth row, remove that one TD tag and from here also I'll remove that and save it and now you can see the output over here. Perfect output. Let us just give that color to that particular merged rows. That is BG color is equal to gray. Save it and now let us see the output. Now that's the perfect output. Okay. Now let's move to the next part of the tutorial. That is this one. Okay. How to achieve this particular output. Okay. Over here is there is one more column. That's the sixth column I have. Rest there are seven rows but the one more extra column we will have. So we will have one more extra TD tag under every TR tag, isn't it? So let's do that first. So that's the code. Now I will remove this entire thing and I will have, that is the normal TD tag. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me just go to the first row and remove everything. And let us have, this is one, two, three, four. So there are four TDs. So this is uh, the fifth TD, fifth column, and this is the sixth column. So I have six columns in the first row. So I'll simply just copy this now and paste it under every TR tag. So we have six columns in every row now. Okay. And this over here. And at the last okay so click on file click on save now first we will see the output and that's the output okay something is missing over here so maybe we missed out one TD tag so one two three four five and six that's the fifth row let's go to the fifth row so this one one two three four and five okay so we need one more extra TD tag over here Okay, so let us click on file, save, and now we will have the output that is total six columns and seven rows. Now we will merge this part. Okay, we have to merge this one. So we have to come to the third row that is the third TR tag and we have to go to the third column. So third row, third column over here we will come. So over here I need to merge this with the next one. Okay, so call span I will keep it as 2, okay, and row span I will keep it as 3. Now understand that for the third row when I am merging these two, so this will become 1. So I need 1, 2, this is 3, this is merged, 4 and 5. So there will be only 5 TD tags in the third row. But what about the 4th uh, and 5th one? Okay, so 4th row. Okay, what, what happens is we are going to merge this uh, row span also. So the, even the rows got merged. So, and even the column got merged. So in this case, for the fourth and the fifth row, okay, understand there will be only four TD tags. Okay, understand there will be only four TD tags because we are merging the columns as well as the rows also. Okay, I'll just tell you. Okay, let's go to the third row. Let's come to the table. This is our table. Let's go. This is the first row. Okay, that's the second row. And this is the third row. Over here, we have to work and we have to go to the third column. So that is the third TD tag. And simply I will say call span is equal to two. Okay, and in the same tag, I also need to specify row span is equal to three. Okay, and now I'm not removing any TD tags. Let us see the output. We will have some output which we are not expecting. Okay, and we will see the output first. Now that's the output we got. So you can see why I did this is, now you can understand there is one extra TD tag in the third row, which means we need to remove that one TD tag, one extra TD tag from the third TR tag. That's the third row. And you can see these are two extra TD tags for the fourth and the fifth row. So we have to remove two TD tags from these particular rows. 
okay so let's do that so third row i have to remove that one extra td tag so we were over here i have to remove this one td tag and over here i have to remove two td tag that is the uh, fourth row and this is the fifth row click on file save and now let us have that perfect output in front of us so this is how you have to merge the rows and columns if you are doing it in the same particular tag okay if you want to merge all together the columns and the rows so this is how we can do the coding let me just give that gray shade that is to this one that is bg color is equal to i will simply say gray now you can use the css for this but i'm not using css because this is not based on css i just want to make clear the concept of row span and call span to you in future i'll be also taking some examples uh, where we are using the css also okay so i'm simply using these simple tags and attributes so click on save and now we will see the output so this is the complete output in front of you and this is how you have to use your row span and call span in one particular tag if you want to all together merge the columns as well as the rows all together you want to make that as one cell this is how to do it so i hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you have liked this video if you have really gained some knowledge do subscribe to my channel okay that's it for today bye for now